Thank you very much, Commissioner. Uh, again, let me say I appreciate the fact that you made the effort to uh, come out here and allow people to speak out on this issue. And I know that you've been put uh, kind of in the spot. And you've been put in the spot because we've had many years of overspending <coughs> by the state legislature and by the executive branch as well. And they have not had the nerve to take responsibility for their actions and pass it. Tax increase, and instead they've tried to find a way to sneak through a tax increase, uh, to increase taxes um, surreptitiously, to grab money where they thought it would not be noticed. And I think it has been noticed. I think the people always will notice it. Um, I only found out about this recently myself. It was interesting to me to learn much about the issue uh, from Paula. I suspect that Paula and I on many issues would disagree uh, completely. But uh, I read right through the testimony that she presented in the last, that was presented at the last uh, hearing you gave, and I agree 100% with everything she said then and what she just said here tonight. Um, this is a matter of skullduggery on the part of the legislature, in my, uh, in my opinion, and I don't think you should be a party to it. I think the Department of Public Utilities control um, exists clearly to regulate utilities, to uh, work between the utility companies ratepayers for, for a just decision. Um, it's been, I think, one of the most respected bodies in the state of Connecticut. There's certain ones that I believe have, um, where there's been recognition that people with um, insight and uh, judicious temper were required for decision making, and they, they often found their way to the Department of Public Utility Control. I think you run the danger of becoming a kind of a cat's paw uh, taxing authority on behalf of the legislature if they can start to do things like this. Um, the Attorney General clearly was on your side in terms of the propriety of imposing this tax. Um, uh, the, the Consumer Council was on your side. I think that the DPUC has an opportunity to stand up on behalf of the taxpayers of Connecticut to avoid a tax um, foolishly um, imposed and capriciously imposed in the sense that it doesn't, um, it, that to put it on ratepayers for electrical bills has no reflection on the, uh, on, the, on the general fund obligations which the state is trying to fulfill. It's simply a way to get out of a problem that they themselves have created, that they're responsible for, that they're trying to push over into your lap. You know, there's a principle, um, uh, controversial principle, but certainly an established principle of jury nullification, where a jury can simply say, we refuse to impose the verdict because we simply think that the law is wrong. I think that the DPUC needs to consider the fact that they can say no to this. Um, it will make a big noise, and it may create a big fight, and it may not be the way that the commissioners on the DPUC uh, are inclined uh, to act. It may seem irresponsible in a certain way to do that. But I think the irresponsibility was on the part of the governor and on the part of the legislature in putting this unfair, ill-considered tax through the uh, DPUC onto electrical ratepayers. Um, and I'm afraid that this will only be the first step down this road if it happens. I've had the pleasure over the years of opposing tax increases uh, as a member of the public. And when the people realize what they what has done, I, I'm sure that they will become angry about it. There's much concern nowadays about anger in politics and the desire not to have um, um, the politics devolve into a matter of, 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 of emotion. But it is exactly actions like this, sneaky actions, duplicitous actions on the part of the General Assembly that create that kind of anger. And I think the DPUC has a chance to be something of a firewall between the general public, which rightly is going to feel that they've been imposed upon unfairly, and government officials in both the branches that have uh, that are making a big mistake. One of the most common complaints I hear as a candidate, uh, which I have become again, uh, both in talking to the working people at their doors and in talking to small businessmen, is the talk of electricity, is the cost of electricity, as, as Angela referred to. Um, and again, we get lip service from the legislature in terms of the need to 
reduce electrical rates. Here is a golden opportunity for them to reduce electrical rates simply by doing nothing. And it's the height of hypocrisy to me that they have instead stepped in and rather than confront their own spending problems, um, put this burden on perhaps the worst the worst thing to raise at this particular moment uh, of economic trauma uh, that they could possibly pick. So my question would be, is it irresponsible for the DPUC to refuse to do this? I think it might be held that it's irresponsible for the DPUC to go along with this, to acquiesce in this. I think that we all have a right and even an obligation to refuse to go along with improper Requests. And I think the request or the command which the legislature is given to the DPC is improper. And I hope that you will consider uh, your options in terms of refusing to go ahead with this tax grab under other names by the state legislature. And I thank you for your time and I thank you for your thoughtful approach to all of this. And I guess I would encourage you to be in, in the course of the thinking um, to think about um, not only the needs of the people of Connecticut,